We are starting the self-care series. And this is, I love this series, by the way. It's found on the TOPS website. So you can watch each one of these, just so you know. Um, you can't really skip around unless you've watched all of them once before. Then you can skip around, but they open up in order. Um, you're going to find that this, I feel, really gets to the heart of the issue pretty fast uh, because the, um, the whole idea of the mental thinking process really comes to the forefront. And I, I want people to understand that because you'll find out over and over again that we can have the best food plans and we can um, have the best activity plans. But if our mind isn't in this, it's really, really hard. So that's why I really like the way that the self-care series works. A lot of the same stuff is covered in our real life guidebook, which is another TOPS material that we use. But this is where, um, where we want to, it starts with that mental thinking process and then adds in the other stuff. Yes, this is a 25 week um, program and I will be covering these either in a week or two weeks for some of these, because some of these have so much content into them, you'll find that out. But the introductory one, we're gonna cover that in this first week and we'll be going into the, the actual meat of it starting next week. But so tonight, what we're gonna talk about is we're gonna be talking about how this is more than you think. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of an overview and about how we need to be honest with ourselves, okay? So, just so you know, these slides do come from the actual PowerPoint presentation. Uh, it's a very nicely done presentation, very nice to listen to as well. Uh, so please take time to listen to it if you can. If you, like I said, it, it just, there's gonna be a lot more information in there. I just kind of pull some highlights and talk about things and maybe twist, you know, talk about just a little bit different um, than what's in there. So you won't get exactly the same stuff each time on it. So this is one of the big ones. This is um, something that can get people to think, you know, to get off the wagon or off the tracks or whatever expression you wanna use. People are told over and over again, eat, uh, if you eat less and you move more, you're gonna lose weight, okay. In the general scheme of things, that's true. But there are so many components into this that it's not as simple as it sounds. And that's where uh, people can sometimes have some tough times. And so what we're gonna be doing is when we're going through this, we're gonna find out there's a lot of little parts that all come together and we have to figure out how to balance it all out. There's my word. I love the word balance. And you're going to find out that that's one of the big things. Yeah, we're going to balance out the calories in, calories out, but there's so much more that goes with it. So just take a look at what's on here. We're going to be talking about uh, developing self-care strategies. We're going to become aware of stressors because maybe some of you have never known that you can actually gain weight by being stressed without even eating. <laughs> There's chemical things that happen there. Uh, we're going to learn about some uh, coping skills that we can use. We're going to be talking about the mind, body, and spirit. And when we're talking about spirit, it's not necessarily, um, you know, the re religious aspect, even though some people have that, but it's also about our whole, it really comes into our take on life and what we're trying to get from life. Okay. And you'll find I always talk about we want to lead the best life we possibly can. So uh, those are some of the things that we're going to be discussing as we're going to go along here. So with the first one, I want people to know and realize we're all in the same boat. Okay, in the same, let's put it this way, in the same boat of getting healthy, all right? There are so many different ways that uh, we're affected and nobody's path is going to look the same, but we're all trying to get healthy. And that's what we're talking about when we are um, 
trying to get on this journey, right? I talk about journeys, not boats normally. Um, and we're like on a car, right? And we're, we're going down and we're, we're traveling, right? Uh, the same kind of idea. We have lots of things that could be affecting us. Some people have the same things that are affecting us some of the time, but not all of the time. It changes, right? Maybe you're a procrastinator, right? Maybe you're having issues with attitude towards getting healthy. Maybe it's habits that's part of our problem. How about focus? Um, focus is a big one. I, I like to use that a lot. We gotta, we gotta try to get that focus trained. Maybe it's, we have to work on that goal setting stuff. Maybe time management's an issue or boundaries. And, you know, we gotta see how, see how this is all going along. At one time or another, we probably had one of these things happen or multiple things happen at the same time as we're still on the same journey to better health, okay? Um, so like I said, everybody's journey looks different but is similar at the same time. Kind of an interesting concept to have to deal with, right? So one of the things that we're going to have to make sure to learn to deal with is stress. Um, when people get stressed, and like I said, we're just kind of touching on a few things because we're gonna be covering a lot of stuff. That stuff from the very first slide was all the things we're gonna talk about, but we're gonna, we're gonna just do a little like, touch on these different topics here. But stress is one of the big ones that they wanna make sure that people know that we do have to work on. And we'll be talking a lot more on this as we go through the weeks because stress has uh, been shown. I mean, they actually physically know what stress does. Stress can lead to making poor decisions, can lead to medical issues, can make you older faster, I don't mean it means like you advance in years really fast. I think you know what I mean there, right? It, it ages your body. Uh, it can cause fatigue and illness, premature death, that kind of thing. Kind of sounds like a bad thing, right? Uh, we don't really want to have that much stress in what we're doing. And we're going to find ways to work on things like that as well as we're going through this. Um, like I said, this you're going to find that this program, this a 25 week series, which I think takes me a little longer than 25 weeks to do, um, is gonna have a lot of material in this. Um, even if you've heard this before, some of these things are gonna hit you differently as it comes through. So make sure that you're, you're paying attention and see how does this fit you now? And maybe you're seeing yourself even in the, the line of all these stresses, you never know. Okay, so that's one of the things that we need to make sure that we're taking a look at. The next thing is you're going to have to realize we're going to have to get personal. Okay, not that you have to sit and share everything with us. Okay, um, if you want to sit and email me privately so that you can, you know, whatever, I, I, that's what I'm here for. But you don't have to share it publicly, but you have to get let's say personal with ourselves, okay? You can't just look at this as like a big umbrella kind of thing that everybody does it and it's gonna kind of be the same and stuff like that. Nope, nope, it's not gonna be like that at all. This is going to be one of those deals where you're gonna get personal, you're gonna dig into your history, you're gonna think things through so that you can do some of these things. So we're gonna be working on these throughout the program as well. We're going to look at the, the personal mission statements. You're going to find out just how important that is. Um, we're going to have personal values. What do you value? You're going to talk about, here's everybody's favorite, right? Self-love. We have to learn to self-love ourselves. And then we're going to work on how to rewrite our story. So these are all different aspects that we're going to be taking some time, working our way through, finding out how important this stuff really is. Uh, for some people, as we go through this, all of a sudden they might have this, well, I don't wanna quote other people, but the aha moment where people realize, oh, that's where things kind of go haywire, right? Um, maybe you're thinking about how you can plan things so well, but for some reason it never comes through. Why is that? 
And as we go through and you start doing this thinking and digging in and wondering what's going on, you might say, oh, that's where when, why it's not working quite right. And that's what we're trying to do with this. We're trying to get you guys to understand that this is a, is a big process. It's not an overnight. By no means is this an overnight fix. This takes time. You're changing things. You're opening up to yourself um, and really starting to understand what's going on up here. Because this is the guy that really controls the whole thing. Your brain is the one that, that can mess you up so easily. And half the time, okay, I'm going to say most of the time, we don't even know that it's doing that, okay? So that's some of what we're going to be touching. Like I said, if you, if you start to look at this and you go, ooh, yeah, this is going to be some big touch stuff that we're going to do. It is. It really, truly is. It's going to be a lot of getting into... Um, why we do things, where it stems from, all of that, okay? Because like I said, the inward, we will talk a little bit about, you know, the food planning and the activity and stuff like that. But realistically, that goes a lot faster. That's a lot easier to do than getting yourself through these parts, okay? So that's why there'll be different speeds as we're going through this. So. I love that they put this slide in here because this is something that people don't always remember. And some people think they're on this journey maybe for other reasons. And the reason I say it like this is because has a medical professional told you that you need to lose weight? Do you feel like you're doing this because you're being told to or because you want to become healthy? That's where we're at uh, when we come to this. We have to realize that all of this is our choice, okay? Just because a doctor says, you need to lose weight, you need to do this, you need to do that. I love how they do that. They always, you do this, um, not necessarily with examples, but they're telling you to do these things, but you are the one who physically has to make the choice to do it, all right? That's why it's so important to make this personal, make it about you, what you want to achieve, what's important to you. That is key. So you are always going to have a choice in everything. What you think, how you determine your goals, what and when you eat. I know with families, it can get tricky, but you can still kind of do that. And we'll talk about that and we'll have little um, helps as we're going along on this. Um, how and how, when and how often are, you should be exercising and how to live your life, right? Having people telling you this stuff doesn't always work. You have to be the one that's embracing it, wanting it, and then you'll do it. That's how this works. It doesn't work the other way. Um, so these are some of the things that we need to, to keep in mind. And as we're going through this process, I want you guys to, okay, so the program's gonna keep reminding you of these things, but I really want you guys to try to embrace some of this stuff because we're gonna, we're gonna hit the ground running next week. I mean, I'm gonna give you a little challenge here too, but you're gonna have to try to get yourself into this kind of thinking mode. Not the I'm being told mode, but I want to do this mode, okay? Matter of fact, if you need to and you want to put it on a post-it or stick it up someplace and do the I want to, and you can make a list of all the things you want to do every day, right? No one likes the, well, I guess I'd be called the honey-do list, right? The things that you have to do, um, we prefer to do the things that you want to do. And if you're going through it and you're being honest with yourself and you're trying to live a better, healthier life, there's going to be some good things on that list of things that you want to do. And so that's what we need to remember as we're going through this. Now, I'm going to give you guys, I think I'm up to the challenge one. Yes, I am. Uh, I want to discuss this challenge here a little bit because, you know, we're, we're talking about an introductory segment. And like I said, uh, the, the person that's in here and does this, they, they talk about even more things. 
I just didn't have enough time to put it all in, but I didn't want to touch on all of it right away because um, some of it is what we're going to be diving into right away. And so I didn't want to get too in depth in it, but it talks in there some more about what is meant by the using the mind. And you'll know I talk about that all the time. Things for your body, things for your spirit, which is actually kind of like how you take in the world around you and stuff. Okay. So there's going to be lots of other things in there. There's more great material that's covered in this intro to let you know how we're going to proceed with this. But um, Feel free then to go on to the next week's uh, viewing so that if you want to be ready ahead of time, you can. If you want to watch it after the meeting, whatever works for you. But what we're wanting everybody to do, this is what I want you to focus on as a challenge. It's, it should be an easy one, <laughs> but it may not be for everybody. What I want everyone to do is I want you to start to think of where you want to put your focus first, okay? Are you going to be focusing in on, as we're making some of these adjustments, are you going to take on the food side of thinking processes? Are you going to be taking on the activity side of things? Are you going to take on the recharge side of things? That, you know, that's part of the spirit uplifting part. Um, you know, the whole body part of it that we're going to talk about or the whole mind part. There's so many different things. But what I'm wanting people to do is I'm wanting you to figure out where is the spot that we really want to put our focus to start with. And as we go through this, we're going to talk about how to get the brain in the game. We can relate it to lots of different things. So we can relate it to the food, the activity, and all those different things as we're going along. Yes, balance. I see the word appearing. People know this is my this is my series that I do the word balance in a lot. And so we're going to be working on that. And I will pull and bring those in because I love it when people can see the connection. Uh, that's where it becomes real for people is when you see the connection between what you're working on and what's going on and what we're talking, okay? So feel free to make sure that you are taking a look at that um, and deciding where you're gonna put the focus. Now, I know we're, we're at the end of the program portion and I know some people aren't able to stick around for very long after this. So I wanna make sure that I wish you guys a great week and to remember to enjoy this journey. That is a huge part of it, enjoying the journey. Because if you don't like what you're doing, you're not going to stick with it. So we need it to be something you enjoy doing. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually stop the, the recording and the screen share. And we're going to get ready to do um, our friendship forum. I want to wish everybody a happy Valentine's Day. The thing I love about it with all the hearts is it reminds you. We're working on knowing about our heart health this, this month, right? Um, and if you find new interesting things about it, please post it on the TOPS website or onto our, our sorry, onto our private Facebook group um, because that is awesome information to share. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this recording.